my name is Ruwanka Parasinga, and I work for the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. I work for the Geotechnical Engineering Group in the Water Engineering and Technical Services Division. We're tasked with working on tunneling projects, we work with the dams and reservoirs, and we work on basically any underground structure. And you can imagine in a water system, almost everything is underground or has a foundation component to it, including tanks, new structures, new pipelines, new trunk lines. But what I really like about working in the Geotechnical Engineering Group is we get a really good balance of office work and field work. We're in the office, we have design meetings, we're working on geotech reports, but we're also in the field managing construction, doing geotechnical investigations, uh, subsurface explorations. So it's a great group to really get your hands dirty, but also be in the office and learn your basic engineering skills. I was always good at science, always good at math. When I was getting ready to apply to college, I didn't know what to do, to be honest. So looking at my dad as a civil engineering professor, of course he uh, suggested I go into civil engineering. I went to the University of California, Davis for my bachelor's degree in civil engineering. Uh, when I think about my four years at Davis, there's two things that stand out the most to me. And one was being a resident advisor I had, uh, I remember my senior year, I had 67 freshmen that I was in charge of, and it really taught me a lot about leadership, responsibility, time management, and I got to meet a lot of great students and really influence them as they continue on their academic career, as I was ending mine. My second thing that I was really into and really, really changed my life, I think, was studying abroad. Um, I studied abroad between my junior and my senior year in college in uh, Rome, Italy. What really stuck out to me was the thought process the engineers had thousands of years ago to supply water for the everyday people. And that same aqueduct system is still being used today. With the Roman aqueducts, I see a lot of similarities to what the founding of Los Angeles was and the growth of Los Angeles. LA aqueduct was very similar in a sense that they needed to find a source of water to help the city grow and help it prosper. Los Angeles is considered the entertainment capital of the world and with the movie industry and the music industry, I don't think it would ever have happened without the Los Angeles aqueduct. Having water supply was very huge in the becoming of Los Angeles. One of my favorite projects was actually the project I got on my first day in the job. Um, it's the Griffith Park South Water Recycling Project. And so this project includes a one million gallon tank, a new pump station, and a horizontal directional drilling tunnel. It's a 12 inch pipeline, but it goes 3,000 feet and a 500 foot elevation difference through Griffith Park. It's an incredible project. Uh, so I worked on the planning, I worked on the design, and was out there for the construction, which we actually just completed a few months ago. Another one of my favorite projects is the city trunk line project. My favorite portion was while we're doing seven miles of new trunk line, this 250 foot segment between the Riverside and Whitset intersection, a very busy part of LA. We actually had to do a unique tunneling method called sequential excavation method. This tunnel had to basically snake through bridge abutment piles to hold the bridge that goes over the LA River and the Tonga Wash that goes under. So we were basically tunneling over the surface street, the Tonga Wash, and the bridge abutment piles. We were under budget, met schedule, and we actually received several awards for this project from ASC LA section and the ASC Metro Los Angeles branch. We received the 2017 Water Project of the Year and the 2017 Construction Project of the Year. Outside of work, uh, my favorite hobby and some a passion of mine is I love basketball. Sports is one of my passions, it's one of my favorite things. I've actually been able to travel the world to watch soccer matches, like I've been to the World Cup in Brazil, I've been to Munich and Barcelona and England to see a lot of sporting events. One of the cool community service events that we've done and I've been able to work with is a Habitat for Humanity project out in Pasadena. There's uh, nine new homes that we're building for uh, low-income, disadvantaged community families. And I've actually got to get my hands dirty and help build these homes. 
And so one of the really cool programs I learned about through a friend was the Big Brothers Big Sisters of Greater Los Angeles. Through this program, I'm able to make a lasting impression on a young individual's life. And for myself, it's a very rewarding feeling to give back to a young person in Los Angeles who needs a mentor in their life. I, I think my dad couldn't be more proud of uh, where I ended up working and what I do as a profession. Um, when I think of uh, when I was a little kid and what he envisioned for me as what would be my career path and as an adult, I'm not sure he could have picked a more perfect situation.